Hey everyone, welcome back to Magnolia Budgets, or if you're new, hello, welcome. I am so glad to have you here today. We do all things cash stuffing, budget planning, savings challenges, and honestly, just all things dealing with money, and of course, we come here to chat. So you guys, today's video, I will be stuffing my Etsy paycheck. So I get paid every two weeks with my Etsy paycheck. That's how I have it set up because I don't make quite enough to where I want to pay myself every single week. So that is how this works for me. Before we get started, I do want to thank you all so, so, so much for supporting my Etsy shop, my YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, likey, commenting, um, and purchasing, just doing all the things. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. I am so thankful and grateful for you all. Y'all know I want to make Etsy and YouTube my full-time job, and I will not be able to do that if it's not for you all supporting me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. I am truly enjoying doing this for you all. Y'all are my besties. So it is just so much fun because I feel like, you know, y'all are my friends and I get to do something and create things that you all love. And then of course I get to come on here and chat with you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, so let's count and see how much money we'll be stuffing today. I also do not have all the correct denominations, guys. Because I'll pretty much just wing it and then use what I have. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we have $225. Y'all have really been showing up and showing out on my SG shop like I was saying. I think... I think so far I have made a little bit of money, a little bit more money this month than I had last month for the month of July. So I'm super excited about that. That just lets me know that you all are loving what I have on the shop. Okay, it's super bright in here, so I hope you all can see. But this is the breakdown for today. So we're going to go ahead and start with taxes. I'm going to move this up just a little. So let's go ahead to the back and go to my savings envelope. So here is where I put the taxes. So we got to put $40 in here for taxes. And this is for my Etsy and YouTube taxes. So 20, 40, 5. So I just do 20% from my Etsy for my taxes. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. 90, 91, 92, 93. So $293 for taxes. I'm going to have to go back and look through and separate them soon because I want to have my Etsy taxes separated and then my YouTube taxes separated. It probably doesn't really matter, but I just want to be able to see, you know, how much I have for Etsy and how much I have for YouTube. So next is going to be supplies. So that's what I'm going to stuff here. I know I don't have a word on it or anything, a label, but I know what it's for. Also, within the upcoming weeks, so mid or end of September, I have some new things coming to the shop. So I'm super excited about that. Definitely make sure you're subscribed and your post notification bell is on because you are not going to want to miss that. So we need to stuff 90 for supplies. So 2040. 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So I pretty much have to pay myself back all of this because I go and get supplies all the time, guys. And I just use my bill card and then I just pay myself back, you know. That's just what I do. Um, because like I said, I, I only stuff this every other week. And then with my YouTube, I only stuff YouTube once a month. So and then I have $90 for myself. So that is super exciting. So let's go ahead and go to the front and start with our savings challenges. So Christmas isn't going to get anything. Debt is going to get $25. Y'all, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I probably just scared y'all. Y'all, I am so, so excited. I'm so thankful and grateful, y'all. Student loan debt forgiveness? I mean, I'm super excited about that because y'all, I have 20, I have a total of $24,000 in student loan debt. I don't know if I ever told y'all that, but I'm a teacher for a living. And so I got my degree, an elementary education degree, and I'm in $24,000 worth of debt. So that's not even including my car payment. 
I mean, my car loan. My car loan, that's a whole other story, honey. But I have $24,000, and I think they said if you went to school on Pilgrims, you can receive up to $20,000. So I did, and if I am able to get $20,000, that means I will only have to pay back $4,000 and some change. Y'all know, if you're an OG, if you've been watching, then I have been saving, I'm trying to save around $5,000 to get my furniture. So me and my boyfriend have been talking and I'm like, and my mom, like, let me just weigh my options here. Do I really want to buy the furniture and still be in debt and pay monthly payments on my student loan debt? Or do I just want to go ahead and pay off my student loan debt and then save up next year for my furniture? I've been saving all year, y'all, for this furniture. I love this furniture so, so much. <sighs> I, I, uh, I go back like every time we go out I always try to go there and I look like every now and again I will go to the rooms to go I will go in there sit on my front my furniture it's not my furniture yet <laughs> sit on the furniture that I love y'all this is gonna be a long video um <laughs> so I go in there I sit on the furniture I love it so 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 much I love that furniture so depending upon how much money I have left at the end of the year if I decide to pay my student loan debt off I may just go and get maybe like one piece, you know, and just go and get one piece at a time, but, um, or just get what I can get and, you know, do the monthly payments on the furniture. I wanted to pay cash, you know, but, um, I don't know, but I'm so thankful and grateful for this opportunity. So I think I'm going to pay off my student loan debt at the end of the year, y'all, because this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I need to take it. All right, student loan debt is going to get $25. I don't want to keep y'all too long, but y'all know I like to chat. So I had to talk about that because I'm super excited about it. So we do get to color off a hat. Let me bring my caddy here so that I can um, get my color pencils when I need them. Also, I took out my mild lighters. Not that I'm going to be using them today. Let me move that. Where is my black? So let me color off a cap. These savings challenges are available on my Etsy shop, by the way. And then I have a lot of other things that I'm using linked down below in the description box if you are interested. 120, 40, 65, no, 70, 75, 80. 120, 40, 60, 75, 80, so 180. So 50, 125, 50 one okay yeah okay so let me go ahead and give y'all an up close but yes you guys i am just it's super bright in here y'all it's early in the morning but i'm just super excited about that uh i know some people are super upset you know because they paid off all their debt you know in cash and stuff like they saved up for it but y'all there and they and everybody is saying they're going to be paying back this and that through taxes and whatnot i don't know but my thing is, we pay, like me personally, I pay stuff in taxes that I don't, you know, that is not necessarily for me. Like, I don't have any children, but I still, like, some of my taxes go to education, right? Um, Go to the schools. So, I don't complain, you know. Where is my, I need a pink. Let's do this one. These pins, these, oops, these markers are from the container store, guys. I love them so 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 much I think you would too go check them out they're very affordable and I love it I love them so much if I could get them and put them in my shop I would I probably could but I think I, I gotta add the 10 I don't recall doing that so this rare bone savings challenge is gonna be for me to get a month ahead on my bills you guys that way you know if anything happens i'll be a month ahead you know so if i have to if i get pregnant and i have to stay out of work for a month and just or if i want to stay out of work for a month or if i do get pregnant and something happens where i have to be in the hospital for a whole month you know anything so i have the money i will have the money hopefully soon 20 40 60 81 20 30 40 so 140 i would have to do this challenge three times in order to for me to get a month ahead four times you guys not three four times in order for me to get a month ahead but i already have 300 dollars on my bill account 
so really I just need to do it three times also in my second funds binder I have a month ahead envelope where I stuff money in there here and there and that is adding up pretty quickly as well so I may get to my month ahead goal soon but yes people are upset about that student loan and I would be a little bit upset as well you know I, I completely understand but I would also be so happy for other people because they are getting a little bit of relief you guys I feel like it's okay to be understanding to be kind and you know to congratulate other people you know for the things that are the good things that are happening in their life you know so this savings challenge is Lisa Grateful Me challenge and it's the her cat savings challenge. It is so super cute. She sent this over to me because I had sent her a challenge that I just knew she would love. Y'all go check out her channel. Her channel is amazing. Y'all know I do love to support other people in the budgeting community. So if you have a channel and you want to send me something and I show everyone, I definitely will. Um, my email is linked down below in the description box. I never told you all that, but I figured I might as well. Let's do this peach color. Oops. This savings challenge comes in three in a pack, so I think I have the other ones here beside me. Okay, y'all. I had to search high and low. I had to move my camera and everything. So, <laughs> I had it over here in this drawer. I thought I had it in another one anyways. So the $10 savings challenge looks like this. She has a five one, and then this is the 15. And so this is the one that I will be doing. I'm so sorry that this video is going to be a little bit long, guys. I promise not to keep you too long on the next video, but y'all know how sometimes I just get to talking and sometimes these videos can get a little bit lengthy. So I do apologize ahead of time. Y'all can always put the video like on fast speed. So, but I will be stuffing this challenge here and there when I um, get my Etsy paycheck and my YouTube paycheck. So we finally started it. We have $15. It's gonna save a total of $150. And so pretty much I would have to stuff this challenge 10 times. So I'm super excited about it. I don't know where, like what the money is gonna be for just yet because I don't know like when I will finish it but if I finish it soon maybe for Christmas or um, I could do it for my month ahead on my bills so let's go ahead and check that one off so my Black Friday savings challenge is going to get $22 this challenge is available on my Etsy shop as well like I was telling you all it's not too late to start saving for Black Friday so $22, I think I did it in five. So five, 10, 15, 20, one, and two. Like I said, I don't have the correct denominations this time because I need to learn how to do my denomination breakdown. Uh, but I always wait till the last minute and I just don't be having time. So I just wing it. Let me mark it off here on my sheet. With my sharpie we have a number 22 right here and I will let that dry and then give you all an up close so let's go ahead and count so 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 70 75 80 85 90 95 96 97 98 99 201 so we have 201 dollars for Black Friday I'm also doing a 25 week savings challenge. I'm going to show it to you guys really quickly. This one is available on my Etsy shop. It saves $650. I'm also doing that one, me and my boyfriend, and that money will go into here as well. So I'm just stuffing what I can here and there and here, and then I'm going to add the $650 into it, and hopefully I will have my $1,000 for Black Friday. So that's super exciting. Next is the color by number Thanksgiving savings challenge. I'm so excited about it. Uh oh. My iPad is about to die. I unplugged it by accident just a second ago. All right. So we're plugged in here. So we're going to be adding $10 to Thanksgiving. So we're going to put that in. So now, like I said, this is a color by number, so I have to pick out enough for 10. 
So I think what I'm going to do is do the tins. Um, because I have two, four, six, eight, ten. And that way, you know, I can color in a good amount of them. Um, but I am so excited to get started on the color, like the different color ones. But let's go ahead and do brown. And I think it's going to be my dark brown. So, I think it's going to be this one. I got to remember what colors I chose because I don't want to, you know, mess it up. I cannot wait to see how it looks when it is done. I have never done this before, I don't think. Like completed it like all the way, like colored it in so that I could see what it would be. I just kind of winged it with the numbers when I created it. So two, four. These markers are so good. And then this will be my six. I also like how pigmented they are and like how dark they color because it covers up the number. I love that. Two, four, six, eight, and then one more will be ten. So let's do this one. So I know it's a lot of brown going on, but keep coming back and watching. And eventually, we'll be having a colorful turkey. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is so freaking cute. Look at that. <laughs> this is so cool. So, we have $15 so far. This savings challenge saves a total of $180. And I may or may not finish the challenge, but, you know, I just want to do it for fun. I don't have to complete... I don't have to complete every single challenge. I just sometimes like to start it and then, you know, do the best that I can do. So Christmas color by number savings challenge is going to get eight. That should be the rest. Five, six, seven, eight. So we now have five, 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars in Christmas. So let's see what we will color on this one. Um... We can either do two number fours, which is gold. I think that's what we will do. So, I think this is gold or, yeah. So, we're going to do this color. Ooh, me and these nails. Y'all, I went and got my nails done and I love them so, so, so much. I try to always get something with cow print. Well, this is my second time getting my nails done. But I'm going to try to always get something with cow print. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to for my birthday or not. It kind of looks like brown. But this is so stinking cute. I love it so much. But yeah, it's like my nails are so cute. I love them. It's just a little something something. My birthday is in October. So I won't get my nails done until the end of September. So y'all will see this um, design for a little while. Okay, let's mark this off. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry I was a little bit chatty. I was just so excited to do this video. Also, it's a Sunday. I usually record these videos on Friday or Saturday. So I'm a little thrown off. But thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure to turn your post notification bells on so you're notified every time I post. Every time I post, it's usually a premiere and they usually premiere between 3 and 3.30. So it just depends on what time I can get them uploaded. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends all about my channel. Tell them to come on over here, budge with us and chat with us a little bit. And make sure to go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And that is it, you guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. All right, bye.